There we go, it's in. Finally. Oh. What's up, man? I got bored. <laughs> oh, you left. Everybody's a little busy with the NBA hoops tonight. Uh, I'm going to personally break that. That's mine. <clears throat> mm. Sorry. <laughs> kind of confused about something. Trying to fix an issue. I think it's fixed now. New cameras, new setup, new everything. Even add a little light to the subject. Oh, I want blinking lights. <laughs> Too bright? Turn it down. Even more. Hey, I like my light, Chad. Shut up. I want to play with it. Hey, Jimmy, I want you to check this guy out. MyExtraTards.com might get you some boxes pretty cheap on him. You know, a lot cheaper than you're going to find anywhere else right now. He's got a good selection, too. Or he did have. That's actually the old camera. I was messing with my new one. I got that 922, Jimmy. Yeah. Actually, I'm using the old camera right now. But this is a new Logitech. I just need a bigger uh, stand for it right now. They didn't have one in stock, so I got to go somewhere else for it. This is actually the old camera. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I worked at it a long time today, man. It's something I was planning out. I put a little effort into it. I'm changing it. Plus, I got to get the Instagram broadcast going. Yeah. I wanted to get blue and different lighting, but I didn't want to get all weird. But still waiting on a breaking mat. So, whatever. I can't wait to rip this though. Oh, three chrome prospect autographs, man. This is one of the first boxes the guy got too. 
when they first came out. So I know something's good hiding in there. But he actually, I ripped one heritage box already. But I got to rip another one. I didn't get an auto. I didn't get really nothing in it. In fact, I shoot. Let's see where it's at. Here it is. The only thing I got that looked decent on it was an Ernie Banks Wrigley Field card. <clears throat> I mean, I'll show you. I literally ripped all of that. There are no variations or action cards in that entire thing. Nothing. I mean, there's tons of rookies. And then the corner was bent on every single one of them, just about. The only thing I did manage to get, in which you got the Goldie, but then we got Jimmy's. I thought it was Jimmy's, but the Yachty's. Folk Cardinals. And then Ernie Bank box. See, I thought that was cool. I had never seen one. So I'm going to put that in the old. I want to keep pile. But why am I always pulling goalie this year? I, it's all I get. And then if you look at both patches, I swear to God, they're not using game use patches. I don't care what they say. Might be game use carpet. Yeah, yeah, I'll be live then. It'll be all right, Jimmy. I know you're working. Like I said, I don't know whether I'm going to go Instagram Friday or Sunday, but one of them. But I almost got 200 followers on Instagram, and I get a lot more. When I go over there, it's just streaming's a little bit more difficult with what I got. But I got a lot of chrome. I've broken a lot of tops update chrome. And I actually pulled decent crap out of there. Hey, Chad, did you show Jimmy what you got out of fire today? You got an entire Justin box PC. So I have never gotten an auto out of Heritage. Never. It has burned me every time. It's kind of like Chronicles, but I've gotten autographs out of Chronicles. Sorry. Right. <clears throat> now, a real one autograph or relic and card every box bullshit got two relics every box that's it what do you think you think this is an arenado if it is i'm going to stick it in the shredder just for you chad you think it'll be autographed Can't let you see it. Oh, boom, boom, boom. Christian Yelich. Yelly. That's actually a decent one. I haven't got one of his yet. I got a Cunha's last year. Cunha's and somebody else. I was hoping Matt would stop by and get his address. But I asked Jimmy where's his address. Jimmy never got back to me. Well, Hollywood Jimmy, he's too busy for me. Too busy for the little guys.
cool box. I'm gonna send you that box, Jack, because I think you deserve it. Asking questions, Chad. Keep up with the conversation, man. <clears throat> Nothing in there. Omar Navarez. Zach Wheeler. Are all these corners meant to? Almost. You hear it? Whatever. Mookie. Go ahead and separate out my rookies while we're here. Hey, is that the one you were looking for, Chad? Urias? There's Garrett Cole. Rock Holt. Cespedes. Daniel Hudson. I thought that was his rookie year. Or was that last year? Okay, we'll check. No action or variation. No variation. I don't think you're praying hard enough for me to get my auto, man. I need some love here. All right, there's a patch card. Looks like that's what we get. I can tell. Jimmy Cordero, look. <clears throat> See the edge? Every damn buck. Yandy Diaz. Aaron Brummer. Wilson Contreras. You think they're going to give me a better one? Okay. Ryan Harper. Luis Guillermo. Frankie Montas and Ty Frazier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you would think Patch out of I don't know, it's just my luck with heritage. I mean, it hates me. But I'm glad I hit that Roberts out of yours. Because they just put those in there. Those didn't start out. Hey, what's up, babe? Maybe we'll get a second relic. I know I got a second relic in that first box, so. Kyle Gibson. Jarlel Cotton. Della Mentances. CJ Cron. Willie Castro. Look, it's an action, too. It's an Action variation rookie card. Finally. Stick that one to the side. Carter Keyboom. Hey, who's Jesus Tonoco? Roman Quinn. Drew Stockenrider. Wow. What you up to tonight, beef? Ooh. I needed a trash can. That's the only thing I didn't put in my little break place. <clears throat> There's another Yandy. No, no, the other first one was the East Indies. Yandy. Aaron Bummer. Miguel Andujar. Tyler Clippard. Alex Verdugo, Luis Guillermo, Guillermo, what? Okay. Frankie Montas, Todd Frazier again. And there's the regular Willie Castro. So, hey, no problem, Jimmy. I know you're busy, Hollywood.
Oh, I'm going to have to check out your mail there. I spent half the day just trying to catch up with everybody's breaks and mail days. Okay. Diddy. I like Diddy. Rich Hill. Junior Guerrero. Or Shion Yamaguchi. Daniel Hudson. Josh Begley. Franklin Barreto. And Steve Sissick. Are they still doing French backs in these, or is that just the other one? Or is there to do French backs? Well, you got to talk. You got to talk, man. I talk a lot. I don't care if nobody's there or not. Did anybody, anybody watch the new uh, uh, Breaks some Basketball today? Did somebody pull a LaMelo Ball Redemption? <clears throat> About a 3K Redemption. Uh-huh. We got two tops. Oh, there's another white card. There's no white card in the center. Second relic. Maybe an auto. Adrian Hauser. Jacoby Jones. My mother-in-law loves that guy. Alex Avila. Man. Are you serious? Another Goldschmidt. This is all I can pull. This guy is Goldschmidt. I must have his whole shirt by now. Hey, what's up, Warcraft? Wade Miley. Robel Garcia. Josh Donaldson. And Tim Lopes. I like Tim. I've seen him a couple of times played. Dude, I, it's my second one out of two boxes. I mean, look at this. It's like I get the whole Cardinals team. At least throw something different in there. I mean, his, his facial expression is actually different. I think he's squinching in this one. Well, throw me a patch variation or number the thing. Well, that would have been nice. But I also pull that one, Beef, and I like that one. I mean... I haven't seen this one before. Oh my God. So I got two relics, so there ain't going to be an auto in here. This heritage really feels sorry. There's Corey Dickerson. Ben Zobrais. Jonathan Shute. Emilio Payne. And Jacob DeGrom. Brandon Kinzer. Greg Bird. And Sebi Zavala. Those are creative backgrounds, I think. It's like the ones we took at school. Hey, what's up, Endgame?
You guys see what I got in the back? Woohoo! Oh yeah, hold on. Boom! I gotta run my ticker. <laughs> I'll rub it in, beef. <laughs> Felix Hernandez, Homer Bailey, and Jalen Davis, Robinson Chirinos, Marcel Zuna, Sean Armstrong, Brandon Drury, Kenyon Middleton, and Jake. Oh, man, I'm going to put him like Jake Bowers. What if he's in the kin of Trevor? They look alike. <laughs> I don't. I send it to him. Actually, I thought Chad was PCing Ichiro, and I sent him a bunch of Ichiro cards. I don't know where the heck I was thinking that at. <laughs> I blame you, Chad. You were probably drinking and spouting off about Ichiro, and I thought you collected him. Nick Castellanos, Tyrone Taylor, Kyle Gibson, Jarrell Cotton again. That looks like a different picture. Tyler O'Neill, Luis Sessa, Austin Pruitt, Austin Allen, there's Carter Kiboon. Open his earlier. <laughs> I knew it was somebody. I, you know, it what you guys live in Ohio, so I was pretty close. So if you want any Cheerios, drive over to Chad and send him some. All the way back, I think it was 2013. One of them, maybe. I got way too much junk going on during the day. Dellen Batances, CJ Cron, Cole Calhoun, Blake Treman. Oh, they're just Astros. Jesus Tinoco, Roman Quinn, Strecken Rider. Wow. Domingo Santana. All right, Jimmy, get back to work. So anybody been any good breaks lately? Because I have gotten slammed every break I've gotten into. I got into a... Uh, uh, the blah. A new Panini break on for oh wait a second we got something in there you see that shiny thingy finally got in the brain got hosed and got the Detroit Lions in a football draft and then the rookie variation I got was had a dent in the middle of it <laughs> Howie Kendrick the white one Kevin Kramer Alex Wood Carl Edwards Jr. The Phil. The Philly. Let's see. Eh? Eh? Zach Wheeler. I think I got Zach Wheeler's other one. I'm pretty sure I do. And it is number two, 571. Number one nine, oh, 189. I probably got 187. <laughs> I was about to think it was a Goldschmidt. Tim LaCastro. Hey, but you know what? I pulled a rookie variation out of here. I mean, that was good. No more Mazzara. Dallas Keigel. 
John Bertie. Hey, if you guys want some of these cards, speak up. Trust me. I'm just going to throw these damn things in a box. The ones I don't want. Crazy. Yeah, they got some weird numbering system. Even the older Bowmans that I got, some go up to like 997, 897. Yangavera Salarte, Jake Marsnick, Kyle Farmer, Adolis Garcia, 71 highlights, Pittsburgh, game three. Austin Dean, Kinta Maida. That looks like Chad. Andrew Cashner. Tommy Conley. I hope he comes back strong after he had Tommy John surgery. He was supposed to be a real rising star, too. Special. A Homer Bailey again with a bent edge. There's all them bent edges again. Jalen Davis. Robinson Chirinos. Jimmy Cordero. Jordan. Brandon Drury, Kenyon Middleton, Jake Bowers again, and Ryan Harper again. Hey, you met him, Beaver? I heard he was a pretty decent guy. I mean, you should be. You know, pretty well trying to pray to the public, you know. You can represent your ball team really good. I mean, you earn a lot of points. Michael, watch out. I watch it. Tyler Bead. Kevin Pilar, Francisco Cervelli, Jake Cave, Jalen Beeks, Jonathan Hernandez, Tyler Duffy, Tom Eshelman. Did you just sign balls or did you take a card or anything? Huh. Yeah, I've been to a few spring trainings. But that was during high school and stuff like that. Daniel Descalzo. Luis Torrens. Chad Wallach. Well, that's sweet. Trey Winginter. I haven't heard so. Really, here's another one of those 71. I'm about ready to pull a Jose Canseco out here. I guarantee it. Jose Martinez, Jeff Mathis. Look at the ears on him. Yasel Puig, 
Patrick Wisdom. I really thought I was going to pull my auto this year. Maybe next year. Maybe. Adolis, wait a second. I see something white. Do you see it? Do you see that? Oh, will it be the year? Adolis Garcia. Travis De Arnard. Yeah, yeah, call him. Skip him by. Darling Marte. Oh, it's a white card. Steven Zosa Jr. That's even better. Not numbered. But it's a white. That's hard to get. I don't care who it is as long as I got one. That is another thing I've never pulled. There's a Conley, but that Conley looks different. Why does that Conley look different? I got to sleeve that one. Randy Dobnak. With the shades. Julio Tehran. And Sean Yamaguchi. Sean. I've never pulled it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I've never pulled a white card. It, it's actually been a pretty damn good box for a heritage. You got two relics, a white card, a uh, prism, whatever it is, an action variation card. Yeah, I'm going to go with hot box, Chad. <laughs> Especially for heritage. Shelvin Noose. I think it's Noose. Everybody else calls him Noisy, but I'm going to say Noose. Jake Fraley. Nick Castellanos. Tyrone Taylor. Oh, there we go. Juan Soto. And Trey Turner. Brian Dozier. Luis Sessa. Uh, I don't know who that is. Austin Allen for the third time. He's like the new Ryan or O'Hearn or Cedric Mullins. Diddy! Diddy Gregorius? Rich Hill, Junior Guerra, Michael Wacha. Oh, look at there. Albert Pujols. Nothing but respect for that man playing that long. Josh Fegley, Franklin Burrito, Steve Shizik. And Jalen Beeks. <sighs> you know what? I, I'm just excited about that white card, man. We got to put that up there. We got to put that up there. No, I'm not putting Goldschmidt up there. If I put Goldschmidt up there, I'm going to bound the bulls on out with Goldschmidt. That one? I, you know what? That's the first one I've ever pulled. I've seen them. That's the first one I've ever pulled. I have to look it up. See if it's actually... 
these. I know it's Steven Souza Jr., but yeah, it's still a white card. Tyler, he. Now I got to put my glasses on. Thanks, Chad. Kevin Pilar. That Francisco guy again. And Descalso. He looks like he cooks pizzas. I swear. Brennan McKay, rookie performer. Jonathan Hernandez again. I hear a lot about him. Don't know a lot, but I hear a lot. Tyler Duffy. Tom Eshelman. Jose Martinez. When I haven't even pulled a Robert. I don't know what's going on. I guess he put all the Roberts in the first couple of boxes and that was it. Uh oh, here's a Danny Mendick. Luis Terrans. Chad Wallet. Trey Wingetner. Kelvin Herrera. Rick Porcello. Jeff Mathis and Ears. Yasiel Pui. Patrick Wisdom. Danny Mendy. Figures. Way, hey, thank you, man. Appreciate that. <clears throat> yeah, I got stuck on COVID quarantine. Even though I tested negative, I got to wait two more days. All because of a sinus infection. But whatever. Give me the vacation. I don't care. Travis DNR. Cole Hamels. Sheldon News. Jake Fraley. Mike Schill. Who is that? A man. I get a manager. Look, Chad, I got a manager. Really, STM? Hmm. Really? All Dells are subject to complication, confiscation at my house. Shun Yamaguchi. Brian Dozier. I tell you what, hold on. Uh, I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Oh, this year's Dells. Just this year. That I've picked up until they go into their regular boxes. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh let's see. I think I got a couple. Yeah. Mm. That's out of archives. Got tons of those. Yeah. 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 Oh. Was it that one? <laughs> I pick up several Dells, several. I actually have another box of these. Each PC I get has its own box for that year. And I stick everything new in those boxes until I get it all separated and everything else. And they go into their boxes, and that's where they stay. That's how you got to do it. Oh, you should you should see the massive collection of Dells. My wife has a fit. <laughs> it's me or Dell. Okay. You need me to help you pack?
Trying to make sure that glare don't bug chat. What are we? Is that no? That's just a regular. Kelvin Herrera, Vera Salarte, Jake Marsnick, Kyle Farmer. There's a Cody. Cody Bellinger. Danny Mendick. Austin Dean. Kente Maeda. And Chad Stotts. <laughs> hey, you know what? Here's you. <laughs> when I was growing up, we only had three channels on the TV down south. Chicago, WGN. Uh, uh, WTBS out of Atlanta, or W, uh, go, TBS out of Atlanta, and uh, WLOX 13 out of Biloxi, Mississippi. My brother liked the Cubs, and that's all I could ever hear is him yakking about the Cubs. Andre Dawson, blah, 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 Wrigley Field, and then watching Harry Carey sing. I couldn't take anymore, so I started watching Atlanta. I was like 83 or 84. Been a Dale Murphy since, fan since. Miguel Andujar. I started collecting him soon after that. Tyler Clippard. Adrian Hauser. Jacoby Jones. Wilmer Defoe. Another Willie. Wade Miley. Robel Garcia and Josh Donaldson. All right, last pack. With my hot box of heritage. It's like four hits in this box. <laughs> Crazy. Heritage just lost its mind. Alex Avila. Omar Navarez, Zach Wheeler, yeah, Tahiri Adriazan, what the hell is it? Will Smith Walkoff, I don't know what's worse, they made a car of him, Tim Lopes, Garrett Cole, Brock Cole, and Oaten oh, Cespedes. Not one Robert. Exactly. There was not one Robert in that box. That's sad. And then again, that crap hole of heritage. You know what? I, I can't pull another box of that crap. <laughs> Tops, I hope you, you you listen to people. Really do. Get rid of the heritage unless you're going to put something decent in it. Stop the crap. I got a manager's card, award-winning manager's card. I mean, what did he win? We know it wasn't the World Series. What did he win? Third base coach of the year. I mean, literally, what the hell? Sad. The Contreras pinstripe for the Cubbies. Oh, I bet. I've actually been to Wrigley Field. I would love to go there. Only reason I wanted to go, well, besides the drinking in Chicago, I wanted to go to them apartments across the street where everybody hung out on top. And then I wanted to sit in the center field, left center field, and throw balls back at opposing players. I mean, that's, it's, that's a rite of passage. Everybody deserves a Wrigley tour.
Warcraft, do you need these? I've got a whole bag for you. <laughs> of the ones I'm not crumpling up. The ones that are in good shape. In fact, I don't know where I put it, but it's a big bag of wrappers. Somebody said save them for you. I hope it's for you. If not, you're going to be really surprised when you get a large bag of trash at your house. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, Bud Stoney. <laughs> Glad we cleared that up. <laughs> I don't think he lives in Ohio, so we can't blame that. Yeah, I've been to Fulton County Stadium. My mom took me there. My first trip was in 89. Watch Mike Scott lose to the <clears throat> to the Braves. Murphy broke his uh, home run streak. He was only hitting six all the way up till June 9th. That's how big of a Murphy fan man. I can just about tell you the entire team of that year. So what do you guys think about my Bowman draft box? I tried to get in a couple of them, but I wasn't paying $30 and $35 for a break. <laughs> Sorry, STM. You were born too late for the Murph. You were like seven years old when you retired in 94. But I've been hanging out on Instagram a lot, doing a lot of breaks on Instagram. I actually have almost 200 followers over there. I might start actually breaking live over there now. But I love coming and sticking with you guys. Oh, I don't know if anybody's been to Target lately around here. And, well, now you're older than me, Warcraft. Because I was 19... So I went to Target and they got like a security person hanging out by the cards now. So you can only get two packs. I was able to get a ton of Topps Chrome. I uh, actually paid a random kid to help me buy two extra packs. And then another lady the next day. But she said it didn't count for top loaders and stuff. So she handed me this bag. Now it says five pack. So she rang it up and said it was $9.99. Now, I'm used to paying only $5 for one of these things, much less five of them. I don't know if that was an error or what. But you never know. Oh, well, this year? Uh, my PCs are different. I go by year. Um... Let's see. That's this year. I'm still kind of collecting from the 87s or the 19, 2019 is in there mixed a little bit. But I got Akuna, I got Dell, Kyle, Bo, Eloy, Arstedis Aquino, Lou Bobby, Fatty Vladdy, and Fernando when I can pick him up. But other than that, that's about all I get to. I do have my older PCs like McGuire, people like that, but they have their own little natural places. They don't have a box. They go into one giant box. And then 
I wish I could pull it out and show you. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that's only the, that's like this year. <laughs> Jeez, you, you wouldn't want to see my collection. Look here, check this out. They go all the way back there. There's tons and tons of boxes. <laughs> Yeah, I got a couple of run. I think I just got that in my hand, but let's see. These are things I well, Jimmy sent me. Well, that's all the Jimmy's that I kind of just threw in this box for right now. Let's see. That's all those. Oh, and I got this out of the Donruss or, or the tops over here. I got these wax packs, and I'm pulling Trevor Hoffman rookies out of them. It's not a 10 because it's off center, but hey, whatever. Another one. And I always get Griffies. And then Lee Smith's rookie. <clears throat> now, if you can find a Lee Smith rookie in grade of 10, you know, it's a four or 500 bucks. I bought 15 of them, and they're all like this, and I paid 50 cents each just for case. Yeah, Mark. Oh, and I got this out of a uh, a Lindor's Future Star car out of a freaking eighty thing of Fairfield. There's Top League Meteor. Uh, I forgot what year Bowman this is. Two thousand ten, maybe, or two thousand seven. I don't know. I love older Bowman. Yeah, Lee Smith is Hall of Fame. Derek Jeter, prospect card. Chipper Jones, Chipper Jones, Chipper Jones, Chipper Jones. Derek Jeter, Jeter. Oh, Tony Gwynn. Isn't that his rookie? Yeah, Tony Gwynn's rookie. Lindor's rookie from USA Baseball. I found that in my collection. Never knew I had it. <laughs> yeah, but do you got that one? These are just... This is my box of finds from this year. I sleeve and top load just about everything. Stick it in here for my partial sorting. I don't know why I got this guy. I don't know why. There's my best friend's son from high school. That's a buyback card of Matt Williams and Danny Gladden. 83 Ricky. Mark, Ken, other Ken, uh, Ken probably. I had so many I picked up. Manny Ramirez draft pick card. I ended up having him extra in my collection. <laughs> yeah, you are. You got like 4,000 users, right? Or 400 or something like that. Yeah, like Messina's rookie, Ventura, Jeff Bagwell's, another Messina, Messina, Sheffield, 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 David Wells, my one of my favorites, John Smoltz, Smoltzy, Prime Dog, that card, and I wish I would, I wish I can get a better one, I can't ever get one centered, that card's 150, it's a 10. Here's the mark. David Bell. I forgot who this was. Oh, it's Luis Ortiz. I don't know if you guys remember him. And Tyler Gentry, who started to collect. That's my son's name. So I thought it would be. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And there's uh, 
Sosa before he started drinking steroids. There's Musina, Musina again. That's uh impact player Musina and another Musina. Now these top loaders are some of the older crap ones. Marky. I like these old ones. The old pinnacles and stuff. If I could ever get my hands on this stuff. The old metal type. Another Manny. There it comes. There's Sandberg rookie. Strawberry. There's Pudge rookie. Dave Concepcion. There it These are some that I got last year. I never put them up. Because I just couldn't find a place for him. I got this Lindor. I just didn't really have a place for him. Because I don't PC Lindor. I don't know why I don't. I just don't. I don't like him, I don't think. But I have tons and tons in this box that I have picked up. It's not even funny. Because I like to tease these to Jimmy. There's a Schmidt. The 80 run by then. Ozzy. Tony Gwynn. Brett. Pedro. Who's that? Griffey Jr. Timber. Johnson. Bo. Oh, shut up. Smoke. Baby. Mike Messina rookie again. Got tons of him. Jim Thorpe. I'd show you some of the good stuff, but I don't really have much of it here. Everything's in its storage in the safes. In case of fire or meteorite. Another mark. Now the 93 Gold Rush. I'm looking for a Mark McGuire in that. And a Dale Murphy if he may have been in there, may not have been. I think it might be 93. I don't know. I don't think he's in there. Mm, I don't know. I can't ever find a date on it. Oh, I've never been scammed. I do a lot of checking before I buy from anybody. Then you got to think about Del Murphy. Is he really worth, at the time, for somebody to scam? Not a lot of people think about it. I can't tell you how many cards of Michael Jordan I got. And they're all going up. And this, and I can't figure out why. I don't know. Maybe somebody else knows. My most expensive error card. If it was graded Jim Mint 10, it would be $1,800. And I don't know why. I can't figure it out. Well, that's what the book says, anyway. Yeah. It does say rookies. I need a, I got tons of rookies. <laughs> Can't tell you how many. My actually first Barry Bonds, and this one's pretty close to being, I'd say a nine. Hey, what's up, Muscle Shell? 
this one's close to a nine, but my first Barry uh, Bonds is the Leaf card. It's the Leaf Downers one. And for years, people would laugh at me. Well, when you got that Canadian card? Well, it turns out it's actually more expensive than the uh, regular. <laughs> Well, my uh, my granddaughter's go. Can't go one stream without her doing it. She's got a stream. Oh, I didn't forgot I had the sepia. Here's my other rookie card. Oh. But I was at a um, card store where I picked up that from my box from a guy that I got a this Bowman draft. We met at a store. Yeah. But we met at a store to uh, exchange what I had uh, paid for the damn box. Which cost me something very valuable. <laughs> but uh, the store owner, instant friendship with the guy. I, I couldn't believe his card collection and what he sells on eBay. He had dozens upon dozens of Mickey Mantles. And we got to talking for a long time. I wanted a mantle, one of his mantles, so bad, but. I didn't really want to pay four or five hundred at a time. He brought out, he says, well, I got these going to the grader because he buys collections from older vintage collections. He brought me out four 1933 goodies, Babe Ruth. Now, they're grader one or two, but I got the whole one. <laughs> he would not let me take a picture, <laughs> which is bad because I can't share my moment with everybody. But I guess it's for, uh, he don't want to get robbed. But he had those. He had a lot of vintage cards. There was cards he was selling for ten or $12,000 on his eBay that had just sold. I got to look at those. A 1951 Bowman Mickey Mantle he had. He just sold it for $10,000. I could have screamed. But. Those old cards I loved. He had collections all the way back. Is everybody awake tonight or are they just that? I'm sitting here running the gums. My playback song. <laughs> a couple of pieces of cardboard, and I could buy a car. Yeah, you could buy a house with some of the stuff. He brought me out. Because I asked him, do you have any 86 or 87 Fleer Michael Jordans? He had two being graded. He had one that wouldn't grade very well. He said it probably grade a six. I asked him how much he wanted for it. He was like, I'll take 300. <laughs> nah, we ain't going to do 300 today, buddy. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. But he had lots of them. I couldn't believe the card collection, and it was probably a store that was 60 foot long and 15 foot wide. Uh, Grand Slam cards. It was like on 16 and 16 Mile and Ryan in Detroit. Well, you got to go to bed, do you? I get that. That blows. I hate getting up.
But has anybody got any of the tops Chrome update? I got me a bunch of it. Got me my Aquino. Got a Kyle Lewis. Horner. Got me an Alonzo. Gavin. And this one, the Ripken. I showed Chad this last night. I got a pink Ripken. And then what was that other card I got? It was a Ripken too. It was numbered. But yeah, I gotta sleeve these. These are refractors. Chris Paddock, Judge, Piazza. I didn't get too many rookies in pink. There's a Jeter. Uh, there's a guy, in, uh, NZ Breaks on, NZ Car Breaks on Instagram. He breaks a lot of it, and I think you can get a box from him for about $30. He can either rip it for you, or he sent it to you unripped. I got a box coming, and, you know, I ripped a box. But, I mean, you can find a lot of them on Instagram, but you got to watch. There's a lot of people I'm trying to sell them, you know, two for 90 and blah, blah, blah. It is what it is and the way prices are. You're just you're gonna pay for it whether you want to or not. If you want to break it. I mean if you want to rip something nowadays, you better have the money. Cards are getting expensive. Oh here it is. The Ripkin that's numbered out of two fifty. Thought that was badass since well I never really pull anything too much out of update. <laughs> I know what you mean, man, but it's hard. I mean it is extremely hard for me to sell my cards. You guys you don't understand. And I collect uh basketball, football, everything. All right, SDM. Good night, fella. Oh, I want to show you something now. I've just finished most of my 2019. Right, that's true, but. Uh, let me show you something. Poor crap. And I do this because I kick myself later on when I don't have it. And I see the guy turns out to be a great player and whatnot. But you see that? Now, I have a box for every product. 2019 Tops, 2019 Bowman, 2019 whatever. And I collect and keep two rookie cards of each. Later, Beaver. But I keep two rookie cards of each player, and then I sell the rest. But I, I mean, just think of how many people passed on a Mike Trout, or look how many people didn't get the uh, Tatis. Or I'm going to sell Tatis, and now look at them. So I always collect a couple, stick two away, find my best two out of them, and go that route. You don't have to grade them. I don't grade mine. I'll grade it if I have to, but I'm not going to pay a million dollars to grade. So I'm going to wait six months just to get it back, to have the market go up and down. You got to do what you got to do. Collections for you. I mean, I'm pretty sure since you love Jeter so much, you're not going to just give him away. No, I'm grading should be a standard set fee, ten dollars per card. They would make money. 
All they are is melting two pieces of plastic together. Trust me. I've been to enough plastic factories now to still be making money. I mean, the only thing I graded this year was Robin Yunt, uh, Walter Payton, Mike Schmidt, a couple of them, but they were all 70s card. And some of them hadn't even come back, so I'm not worried about it. I, there's like a six-month wait. I'm not paying 75 extra dollars. I have it expedited. And all they're going to do is throw it into a box. Who all still here? I know Chad is. All right, you guys, who, who's still here? Speak up. Each person that speaks up gets one pack of wax. Free. You just got to make sure I have your address. Cleveland Cavalier? I have 1970-71 ABA cards. I have a Lou Alcindor card, too. That's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's rookie. What do you want, Chad? You want 87 Fleer? You stay away from my 92 diners. I got 87 Fleer. Um, you know that 94 is over here is bricked. We got the Bowman, the 89 Bowman, the 87 Tops, the 90 Upper Deck. Then, I haven't opened it back here. Oh, it's a 94 Domers Diamond Kings. There's a numbered card in every box. I never knew that. So that means there is a potentially a 1994 numbered card. In which, I don't know, is it worth it? Who knows? Maybe we'll just rip the whole damn box to find a numbered card. Every card is foil stamped. Borderless. Who knows? Pick what you want. Only two of you. It on them. All right, you know what? I'd actually. It's getting so far hard to find wax right now. I don't know what to tell you because I bought, you know, the 90s and the 89 and this stuff. I used to could buy it two or three dollars a box, five dollars a box. Now you're paying forty or fifty dollars a box. So. Maybe trading, doing something like that. Chad, I am not eating the gum to give you luck this time. Not doing it. Not doing it. I picked you a good one, though. This is a good one. It's got a Mike Harkey on the back. And the gun. Oh, <laughs> oh poor George. You Willie Mays card, though, in the center. Yeah, I know it didn't work last time. It sure gave me heartburn, though. Kevin Gross. Eddie Whitson. Dwight Gooden. Frank Williams and Eric Hansen. They were stuck together. <laughs> There's your George gum card. Love those Willie Mays cards. 
Okay. Larry Sheets. Kurt Young. Jay, I want to say Jay Bell. Tony Fernandez. Scott Harris. Brian Harper. Damn, I am way off. Glenn Wilson and Mike Harkey. All right, I'll be sending these three with your cards tomorrow. All right, Warcraft, picked you a pack, man. What do you want? You gotta pick a pack or grab. <laughs> There's no rain checks in baseball. No. Oh, wait a second. Hey, there's a card on front. Who is this card? Or is that a card? Well, that's not a card. Spot. Hey, your rain check just came in, bud. I got it to open it. I didn't got it to look at it. You don't understand. I've ripped. I don't care about a pack of 1951 Bowman sitting in front of me. And if it was worth $10,000, we're ripping it. I do ask that you pick one off the top. Uh, which one? Uh, we'll go. Oh, wait a second. We're going to turn this around. We'll go one, two, three, or four. Give me a number. Dealers. Number three. The, the, the number of the Murph. I hope they're not brick. I hope they're not a brick type card. Well, I came, I came up, and I used it. I wonder where the number would be. Oh, they're brick a little bit. Jack McDowell. That's nice, man. These cards are nice. This is Robin Young. Jack me now. Oh, look for the number. Hold on. Sorry. Is it Robin Young? Still got a glare going. Well, these cards are going to glare. They're Jack McDowell. This is Mike Harkey. I think. John Cummings. Scott Raymond. I don't see a number, though. Where would it be a number? I can't even read it. Jim Leverett's. Well, this one's different. It's like a very refractor type card here. Dude, did you like pick the numbered card on the first one? 41. Holy crap. <laughs> Look at that. A Steve Avery numbered card. Jackie Robinson number, isn't it? No, 42 of Jackie Robinson. It's like a refractor.
Moises Alu. Kevin Seitzer. Joel Johnson. Carl Everett. Doesn't look like the rest of these cards are anybody worth crap. Here's a rookie. Dave McCarty. I like how they got the rookie symbol. I wish they would do that like in the Donruss of this year. And look, they got Minnesota. Dave Mead. Who's this? And West Chamberlain. So, you definitely get Yacht. If there's any other rookies in there, Dave McCarty. I want you to have that one. Ah, we'll just send them all. Hey, make sure I have your address, Wicked. You can send that to uh, Garrett Woodcock at gmail.com. I'll put that one up. Hold on. Shit. I messed that up. that means right that means I get to open up my own pack and I'm going right back over to my honey hole oh two car two packs stuck together wow two packs Go to Stony for card art, whatever. These are my favorite. The series two you can find everywhere. This is the series one that had all the good rookies in it. Card. Vince Cecil All Star Card. Brian Harvey Cecil Filter Regular Card. Leo Gomez Ricky Henderson John Franco Mark Icon Mike Harkey. Felix Jose, Lenny Harris, Jimmy Key. Never heard of him. Jose Viscano. Oh, the big unit. The big unit. Randall David Johnson. He had a good year that year, too. That's when he first started going up. He's 13 and 10. And he had 228 Ks. First time he went over 228 or 200. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, man. At 92 dollars is something. Donation pile.
Yeah, I think I'm going to primarily stream now on Instagram, Chad. So you're going to have to do an Instagram. With... We would be knee-deep in breaks by now. I can dual stream, but you can't connect to streams because Instagram won't allow you. You'd have to do it with two cameras. And I have that. Al Newman. Jay Howe. Chuck Knobloch. Andy Van Slyke. Bernard Gilkey. Brett Butler. John Ramos. Rated rookie. Jose De Jesus. Bill Duran. Oh, Edgar Martinez. That was a good player. Yeah, I I love the live breaks on Instagram. Sandy Alomar. Ooh, Chetlix. Chetlix. And Wes Chamberlain. <laughs> oh. Ah. oh, Lord. Mm. Sorry, I had a dry sneeze. You're killing me. Thank you. Who was a puzzle? Ah, uh, I think it was another Stan Mule puzzle. Let me see. No, it was. Rod Crew. Yeah. Pretty sure. Yeah. Rod Crew. Stan Musel was the first one. Took me a long time to put that damn puzzle together. That wasn't even funny. I think I should have known better than to do a live break or try to do a break on a school night. All you boys had to go to bed. But when do you got to go back to work, Chad? Monday? This stuff does not want to open. Oh, it bricked on me. Mark Hutton. I got to figure out what's in this. Chili. Chili Davis. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, Miss Nutton. Heritage. That's it. Luis Aquino. I didn't do none. None of we haven't sold any of the break. I thought everybody would be excited about the new one. No. It's fine. You guys can watch me break it. I'll start doing personal break. Uh, it, you know what? You There is. Let me see. There's two cars there. Kevin Apier. That might be another card in there. It is. Kevin Apier and Kevin. Wow. So I, I guess it just came from the factory like that. 
<laughs> oh, I know you're broke. I, you know how I know you're broke, Chad? You haven't got like 30 packs. You want to fill out my revolving credit application? You miss a payment, I repo everything now. <laughs> Who is it? I can't read it. I mean, it's way too shiny. Oh, hell. I'm looking at this saying, who is this? But can you tell who this is? I mean, seriously. Am I that stupid? <laughs> I don't have my glasses on. Sure. Yeah, it's Griffey. Here I'm looking at it like I don't know who the hell it is. Well, he's in good shape, too. That corner saw. The other camera auto focuses. So I'll stick that one to the side. I'll probably send these to you. <laughs> Mike Harkey again. Bobby Witt again. But did I get the wrong one? The right one. Yeah, I got the right one. Bobby Witt. Aaron Seeley. Bill Spears. But yeah, Edgar Martinez, he was a great. Him and Victor Martinez, he got no love. Bob Scanlon. So that's a group he numbered. So. Did they number them all? 41? No, it's number four. I guess there was a whole set of these refractors. And you got to collect them all. Special edition number four. There's one soft little edge on this. One soft little edge. Yeah, I'm not into Griffey that much. I mean, I used to watch him, but during my day, Griffey was like everybody's Mike Trout. King Griffey this, King Griffey that. Now, you just couldn't get away from it. So you basically ended up loving the guy or resenting the hell out of him. And I think I went to resenting because everybody wanted to be him. I'm telling you, though, I, I'd be excited to break the pro debut. I might have to end up splitting them up out of a mixer because nobody's interested, or either I'll break it myself. I know what's in there. Uh, you can get Adley's or Bobby Witt autos, and I got tons of autos out of it. like the skybox I got like three or four Jordans each out of my skyboxes I don't I 
wouldn't say I'm in love with that 94. It's nice. <laughs> I want to hear him, man. It's tax season. You're either paid or getting paid. I paid. Did you get your package yet, Rocky? I'm going to say watch out because... Uh, I had some help on shipping, as in wrapping, and when they packed the packages, I caught one and was able to fix it, but they were wrapping things up weird. Let's just say I had to fire a child. Yeah, I probably wouldn't do a video on it until I opened it up and looked first. <laughs> and make sure you can get it safely out of there. There's one of them. It was it was so bad. I mean, it didn't dent anything or anything. They just wrapped the living shit out of it and bubble wrap and then over the top with clear tape. Like seven times. You basically had to use a chainsaw. Yeah, I caught your one. B Dog didn't want to go do the break with your do your video. Or he's just probably upset. <laughs> probably the Astro fan in the room. What do you have in your next auction, Rocky? I mean, uh, Warcraft. And do you have any Dale Murphys? <laughs> I feel you. My youngest is 17. If I gave him to my oldest, he'd sell everything now. If I gave everything to my youngest, he'd throw it all in the trash. I know exactly how that is. Appreciate it. Any Murphys, Eloy Jimenez, Aquino, Kyle Lewis, especially. <laughs> if you don't PC him. See you later, Rock.
Really? I think Lewis is going to do it, man. I think he's going to be an everyday player, a solid everyday player. Jeter, Trout, and Judge, yeah. I've got Jeter's and Judge's rookie, but I don't have a Trout rookie. That's my only year I really stopped really dealing with anything that had to do with cards. All the way up to 2013. I just didn't want to deal with them. I know I'm about to stick all these damn Chronicles cards in a big giant pile and set them on fire. Well, I think I'm going to end this stream early. Probably. Oh, Jason Kidd. Oh, so you do basketball. I hate the sport, but I love collecting the cards. The uh, 19 point basketball. Because I have like a ton of LaMelo and John ja Morant and Zion Williams. But I got it all the way back. <laughs> Odell back of the June. Mine was Farb. More of a Farb fan. Tony Dorsett. Early 80s Dallas Cowboys like Danny White and shit like that. Dan Marino. I actually pick up a lot of the state sales. You know, you get hockey, the older hockey. What's up, Stoney? Yeah, I, I, I keep picking up older hockey cards. I don't know why. They're cards, and I don't like hockey, but they're cards. So, I mean, you got to pick them up, especially if they're like $5 for a huge box. Mm. I'd melt them suckers down with the way go prices are going. <laughs> and then again, I'm a Dallas fan, and mentioning Joe Montana, especially during the 80s, not a good thing. We could never win against Montana. Ruined every Super Bowl hopes I ever had. Nolan Ryan gold card. Well, that came with a stadium club crap. 
Came with a keychain too. <laughs> hey, it's all right, man. I don't care. I'm just going to go back on Instagram. It's not going to bug me. I might fill this break on Instagram tonight and break it and be done with it. All right. I will talk at you guys later. I'm in it. I'll probably go live on Instagram, so you'll probably see me over there. Good night, Warcraft. Good night, Stony. Chad, I'll, I'll message you, man. We'll do Warcraft. 